Wait a damn minute. <laughs> what? Oh, this is what feels like sitting home. There's this thing called Bahadi music. It, the view kind of wasn't worth it. Apparently, we still have to go a bit ahead because there's a lake. Literally left at 12 30. It's 2.41 So, we're on our way back I'm dying We're all dying We've reached the halfway point I've been dying basically But it's really pretty I'm away from my mother It's so cool Okay, where are the horses? So cool. I'm so cool. Where is my hand? In the swimming pool in the winter. Ten minutes your body. No. That is how I feel. I'm numb. Oh hey, didn't see you there. Oh, wanted to have a little talk about self-care very popular these days maybe if you're like somebody like me you would relate to it and maybe you could use it too a lot of tools for self-care the ones that are like tangible i'm gonna show you them first so the first thing i have is my journal book it's not exactly a journal i actually have a diary which is at home but i have this one planner type book which Something that helps you keep yourself organized. You have an exercise tracker and you have a habit tracker. This, and I genuinely think to-do lists are the best thing ever. Down, I even write the amount of bottles of water I'm drinking, which is another big asset of my own self-care. Then I have my diary, of course. I have this app on my phone, which just lets me reflect. This is what it looks like. So Stoic is this app where they let you, um, they let you journal, they let you meditate. I like try to do meditation once in the morning and once in the night. And also for times when, like, let's say you're having a panic attack or something like that, it also has a breathing feature. Also, candles. Another thing is my balcony. Of course, my workout. And it honestly makes me feel like I've accomplished something. So even in a day when I feel lazy and I do nothing, but if I just work out, I feel so much better. Um, another tool is books. Um, my dad will be very ha happy with this part of the video because he reads like crazy. If you've watched the late, the late show with him great place to get a lot of knowledge i'm reading a gentleman in moscow and i've been reading it for a really long time now i just i'm a slow reader oh, what can i do <laughs> like writing as a whole um this is also something my dad has told me to do that I but like writing up on random topics but, um they just make you a better person and it helps you feel more Wholesome. I don't know what I'm saying, dude. Okay, no, I keep saying calm. I have no vocabulary. That's why I need to read. <laughs> Something that can help you with your self care is how you dress up. And the way you dress is also how you're going to act or how you're going to feel. So if you dress put together, you'll kind of feel more put together. But um, that's how I make myself feel good on the bad days. Kind of believe in those vibrations and you know, those Pinterest stuff that you see like, like this. I love this kind of stuff. All diet and water, like I said, is very important. Eating things that look like this are like what makes me feel um, comfortable and happy with why don't you write some stuff that makes you feel good and I'll try and incorporate in my um, thing and I also for skincare um, my skincare routine is something I'll also share washing my face but as you see I have already did. I daily put this you might have already seen it it looks more like done up also like kind of wakes you up because like you're like massaging your face this serum face what this oil does is actually um make your fe face fest make your face less oily okay always remember to put dio <laughs> shout out to dio 
Um, <laughs> I'm really tired and I'm really hungry. Waking up early, it's it's a great trick, honestly, because you get to finish a lot of your stuff by the time a lot of people's day even starts. And, and then you can like relax, you know, like you have time to relax. So what happens when you don't achieve your goals? You're gonna feel bad for a while, but the fact that you have a chance to attain, like you have a chance to attain some of your goals every day. Oh, there's a bug on me. Phone is pretty awesome. Um, it never lets me spiral into anxiety. I have replaced the use of Instagram with Pinterest. And I have um, Sudoku because I'm very scared of getting Alzheimer's and apparently it's supposed to help. Making sure your phone is clean of your distractions can also be cool because a lot of times people are like, oh, your phone is a distraction. But if you have the right stuff on your phone, it may not always be a distraction. thank you all for coming and watching me um, on this trip i hope it gave you some kind of calm vibes also remember to stay smiling and do your best whatever is given you whatever has been given to you um okay bye <laughs>